So that kind of like really gets, it works on a larger area on your face, so that does not even make sense. It basically is big enough to cover most of your face. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about beauty. Honest and transparent beauty reviews, advice, and tutorials and hacks that actually work. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the kind of look that you can do when you just don't have the time. And speaking of time, let's keep it short. So we'll head straight into the video, but before I do forget, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And please head over to Instagram so you can follow me there for some daily beauty reviews, advice, unboxing, and just to get to see what I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube. So let's jump straight into the video. So I only have my skincare on, I'm gonna get straight in with makeup. And this isn't a timed tutorial, by the way, because I want to be able to talk through the products and show you and explain to you how to more efficiently use these products or whatever products that you decide to use when you don't have any time. And to be honest, I am kind of in a rush anyway today. So my husband's popped out and basically by the time he comes back, I need to be ready. So let's get a move on. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 310. And all I'm doing is just applying this in the areas that I know I'm gonna need. I'm gonna go straight in with my sponge. And this sponge is damp, by the way. So what I've done is I've wet it so much that it's doubled in size, so under running water. And then I've squeezed out all the water and then I grab a tissue, wrap it around the sponge and then squeeze it again. And um, the reason for that is it absorbs all the excess water. I had a few of you comment saying, how come when I use my wet sponge that I get kind of, it's just wet on my face and that's because it's wet. So you need to basically make sure it is damp so you've just got to take out all of the excess water before you decide to use the sponge as you can see i'm just buffing this in and obviously you guys can use a brush if you want to or even your fingers now honestly it's really about how fast you move when you're in a rush that is one thing but you also want products which are just easy okay so now i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless filter powder and i'm using the shade medium and i'm keeping my eyes closed because i don't want any creases there i'm using my real techniques setting brush and i'm just going to like pack this powder on. Now I'll be honest, when I don't have time, I really don't wanna be messing around with loose powders because it can just be messy, you know? And I, trust me, the more messy the actual product is, the more mess I will genuinely end up making because I'll end up dropping something because I'm in such a rush. That is fine. Now that's kind of set that area for me. Okay, I'm gonna use my foundation. I'm using my Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G50. So the G means it's golden. And I'm just using my beauty blender and I'm buffing this into my skin everywhere. Again, you can use a sponge if you want to. You can use a sponge if you want to. You can use, you can use a brush if you want to, or you can use your fingers, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just as long as you've kind of like got it all over really well. Now, when I don't have time, I really am not gonna spend time kind of contouring and stuff, so. I just want to get my face covered and then I can kind of go over with bronzer to kind of warm up my face and also just sculpt it a little bit. I'll be honest, usually I would want a different kind of finish, but you know, when I don't have time, this is good enough. So I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty. It's my soft matte powder foundation. And this is where I basically buff this into my skin with a big brush. You can use any brush and I'm basically just putting this all over. I feel like this kind of really helps too. It gives me as close a finish to how I would usually like my finish to be, which is like more of an opaque finish to my skin. So I basically just buff, you can see I'm just pressing it on. I'm not moving it around because if I move it around, I'm just gonna move the foundation everywhere. So I'm literally just buffing this in and I'm not really going on my under eyes, only a little bit, not all the way under. Now. That brush basically is an Odist 001 brush, but you can get any big brush, to be honest. It, like any nice, can you see it's nice and curved and like slightly, it's kind of fat, flat. So that kind of like really gets, it works on a larger area on your face. So that does not even make sense. 
it basically is big enough to cover most of your face. Now I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Before I do that, I just get rid of any lines that I can see. And then with my Real Technique Setting Brush, I'm just gonna like press this in. Honestly, this does the job for the day but I do normally have to kind of like just check it throughout the day. Whereas my normal makeup look, which you guys have seen, I don't even have to look at my face throughout the day. Like I have so much faith that it's gonna stay in place and still look good. With this, I do feel like I usually have to kind of keep checking. So this is a very quick way to do it though. Here we go, eyebrows. My Anastasia Beverly Hill brow is in chocolate and very, very quickly shape my brows. Honestly, it's just about getting the shape right for me first. Usually you'll see me kind of like doing those feather strokes to make sure that it all looks very kind of fluffy and feathery right now I just want to make sure I've got a good shape so then I can fill it in after I'm also going very lightly near the front like I'm not pressing too hard at the front I'm gonna do the other brow quickly I think that's more or less done like I'll be honest I could sit here for another <laughs> 20 minutes and just make sure my brows are perfect because I've got a thing about symmetrical brows. But I think this is kind of as good as we're gonna get in a short space of time. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do something very quick on the eyes. Now, when I don't have time, and I, I don't have enough time, but I still want to kind of like have some makeup on, like look like I've put a little bit of effort in, that you can skip this step if you want, but I, I, it depends how much time you have. Like if you really don't have any time, just go straight in with a bit of mascara or maybe just curl your lashes and then lip balm. And and maybe a little bit of bronzer and that's it. But I, if I do have that little bit of extra time, which most of the time I don't, but I somehow manage to squeeze it in and I'm still late. I then add in the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color, Eye Color, sorry, in chocolate. Now it's really easy. All I'm gonna do, you're gonna see how quick this is. I'm going right on my lash line. You can see exactly just how messy that is, right? I'm gonna get my Fenty 220 Precision Brush. And I'm just gonna start blending. You can also do this with your finger, by the way. Look how easy this is. And then I just literally just drag a little bit up. And then what I do is, that's it. That is it, can you believe it? How quick is that? Let's do the same on this eye. Can you see I've only gone to the end of the lash line, started from the beginning, so rough, and let's just take off whatever's on this brush because I don't want to add any extra product. And I'm just like, you can kind of go, like the brush is basically going into the lash line, but kind of like, there's no specific direction. You just want to kind of like try and blend, but also you do want to get it into the lashes so that it doesn't look like there's any kind of like gap there. And then I just drag a little bit up, not too much. How easy was that? Honestly, that is the best trick that I could show you for a super quick eye look. Okay, I want something quite thickening, so I'm gonna use my NARS Climax Mascara. This mascara just gives me like thick lashes instantly. It's crazy. I wouldn't say it's that great for like super lengthening, but it is really good for just adding, just defining your lashes. Like that is really good. I've got mascara on my upper lid, but I have shown you in another video how to get rid of that. I'm gonna show you again, because this always happens when I'm in a rush. We'll say that always happens. <laughs> Can you see that? Like somehow I miss the pot and the mascara, just the, the one to just go straight into my fingers. That always happens if I'm in a rush, without fail. Just a little bit on my lower lashes. I'm just touching the ends of my lashes, not going from the root. Okay, I'm using my Fenty Private Island bronzer and my Hourglass dual-ended brush, which I absolutely love. And I'm literally just gonna take this into my cheekbones. There you go. And that is it in terms of my bronzer. I think that that's enough. Let's just quickly get rid of that mascara. Let it dry, whatever's got onto your lid, and then you just get a spoolie and you just scrape over it and it's gone. I'm using my MAC 100 brush and my MAC blush in peaches and I'm just gonna take this right up here. I like to take it quite high because I feel like it just looks nicer. Okay, my lip liner, which is my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. Now, for this kind of look, when I'm not 
when I don't have much time. I like to kind of just uh, almost like buff out the lip line a little bit. There you go, so I've drawn it in, but I don't like the look of it being too harsh. So I basically buff it out with my finger. I'm gonna use the NARS Power Matte in Joyride. It's a really nice peachy shade. And just dot it a bit over. There you go. That is my quick look when I am in a rush and I don't have time. So as you can see, it still looks pretty presentable. You know, it doesn't look like I've actually done my makeup in a rush, if you get what I mean. So you don't have to use every single step. Like I've used all of these steps because that's the amount of time I kind of had. Well, not always to be honest, but if you don't have as much time, then you can just pick the steps that work better for you. Like I think the difference is compared to other tutorials of mine is this shows you that the technique is a little bit different when you don't have time. When you don't don't have time and you're in a rush then you can be a little bit kind of uh, flexible with your technique because really you just want to get the job done and get out there and have it look semi presentable you know even the eyebrows you can see my technique was very different it was basically just shading them in and mainly focusing on the shading part the shaping part and also you don't have to do the eye pencil that I use but that's if you have that extra time then you can obviously no lashes usually I would always wear lashes and uh, you can also see that you don't have to apply blush or maybe not even the bronzer you can skip one of those out it really depends on what suits your face and what you like and what your preference is so if you don't like if you prefer sometimes I don't have time for a lipstick so what I do is when I do my skincare, I put some lip balm on and then I do my lip liner, buff it all out with my finger and that's it. You know, I just leave that kind of fleshy, natural fleshy color coming through. So really it's up to you, but I really do hope that you've enjoyed this. And this is my look when I basically don't have much time. Well, there you go. That's my very easy and quick look when you just don't have the time for makeup. Now, if you want to get any of the products that I've mentioned in the video, you just need to head down to my description box where everything is listed for you. If I haven't managed to find the exact same product, then I have looked for the best alternative. So you can also leave some comments for me if you have any questions because I always do answer back. Now, as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.